This video will familiarize you with the fundamentals of data processing on Google BigQuery in Dota. In the data ingestion tutorial, we demonstrated how to ingest external data into a Google BigQuery environment. In this demonstration, we will use that ingested data to perform simple transformations and place the processed data into a target table within BigQuery. Let's begin and review the detailed steps involved in this process. Data processing in Diota is performed using transformations within the data flow. Diota provides various set-based transformations, such as joiner, splitter, filter, rollup, and union as data moves from the source to target. Additionally, we can create user-defined functions, or UDFs, and leverage them inside the data flow using expression transformations. In this tutorial, we will use BigQuery processing capabilities to apply simple transformations within the data flow using the splitter, temporary stage, rollup, and expression prior to loading the results into the target table. In this instance, we will use the pre-imported data object through the Google BigQuery data point to create the data flow. Let's take a look at the BigQuery data point. BigQuery is Google's serverless, high-scalable, enterprise data warehouse platform. Unlike other tools, Diota creates native instructions that are pushed down to the BigQuery processing platform for execution. Hence, there's no intermediate conversion or processing zone. We have defined all the relevant properties for the data point and specified the data sets, including transform database. It is required to set a transform database for natively processing platforms to automatically manage the intermediate data generated during processing of complex queries. Diota leverages the BigQuery API to interact with Google BigQuery platform. Let's begin by creating a new Google BigQuery data flow. Drag the BigQuery source object from the sources section and select the data object that we will require for processing. In this example, we will select the customer data object that we imported earlier. Toggle the interactive button to on mode to enable the view data feature for the objects in data flow. Let's view the customer data in the lower pane to verify that the source data is as desired. Next, we will use a splitter transform to split the data flow into two separate pipelines. Drag splitter transform and link source object to the splitter. In order to split the data based on a customer type and route out these data sets to different targets, we will define two splitter conditions on customer type. Provide the conditions for customer type and validate the condition. Next, let's drag and define the temporary stage objects where needed to load the resulting dataset. Temporary stage transform is useful results need to be held in a transient table temporarily. Let's link the two splitter conditions to temporary stage and map the attributes for both the objects. We can also view the temporary stage data. This represents the temporary stage data that is point in time at that stage. Next, in order to get the total count of customers based on location for a customer type, we will use rollup transform. Link temporary stage to rollup transform. Under group attributes, select the location attributes, city and state. And a derived attribute to get total count based on grouped attributes. Next, we will use an expression transform on the other data pipeline to add two new attributes. Select the required attributes from the temporary stage and add the new attributes, audit ID and timestamp for further processing.
Additionally, we need to define the target objects to load the resulting dataset. In this example, we will use the predefined target tables in BigQuery. Click on BigQuery in the target section, select the target tables, and it will appear on the data flow canvas. Link Rollup and Expression Transform to target objects respectively and on the Attribute Mapper tab. Auto map the attributes for each target. Click on Save and then Run to execute the data flow. To check the execution status, either click on View Execution Status or go to the Activity screen in the Monitor module. Our data flow has run successfully and the records have been loaded into the two target tables after processing. Expand the data flow and view the units within the data flow as well as statistics. Let's verify the data in the target database using the View Data feature in the Studio. To view data, go to the data flow, click the target object, and then click on the data tab in the lower pane. The data has been processed as expected, natively on Google BigQuery, and the processed data has been loaded into the target table. To orchestrate this data flow as a job, we can create this as a job flow, add parameters, and define dependencies on other jobs. We can also orchestrate via file watcher or time-based triggers and schedule the job flows via Diota Scheduler or any externally available scheduler. This concludes the short tutorial on data processing in Google BigQuery using Diota. Thanks for watching. Visit support.diota.com for additional knowledge base articles and tutorials.